Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome back. Today we will cover how you attach objects to your robot using the PNP function. Let's jump right into it. In the last video, I already showed you how to import this basic components into to the uh, cell. So we were in the KukaSim library, in the tutorials, in the section 20, and here in the component part. And now we want to add a college gripper. So I'm first going to drag and drop it into my simulation. Now that we it's in the simulation world, we have to have a closer look. Because in this manipulation mode, PNP stands for plug and play. There is actually this blue circle around the object and this yellow arrow. And with the blue circle, I can actually turn my object. And it's almost as in this move uh, 3D coordinate system where I can move around the gripper. But in the PNP, there is this yellow arrow. And this arrow enables me to show me the position where I can now put it on the flange of my robot. So if I have this manipulation mode selected, I can now click with my left mouse button on the object and drag and drop it into the direction of my uh, robot. And there is this green arrow appearing. And if I get even closer, it will automatically go to the position on the flange of my robot and it will stay there. So if I am in the program tab in the jog mode here, I will be able to move my robot with the gripper attached to it. And this is very useful as soon as you want to have several grippers. So the next thing would be in the PNP mode in home actually to remove this gripper. And for example, in miscellaneous, we have another gripper if I click here on this gripper thing, I'm able to use this double gripper and just import it into my simulation world. It's a little bit too big for the KR6, but I'm able actually just to exchange the grippers here as I'm pleased. If I use this vacuum gripper, it's even bigger. But again, with the green arrow, I can see where it's going to snap on and it will just actually attach to my robot. If I then reset the simulation, it will also go back into this default cannon position uh, with the attached gripper or vacuum gripper in this case. But this is not everything. Actually, PNP is also very, very useful for other components, especially if I have linear units. If I go to my e-catalog and go to the linear units under the folder KUKA, and for an instance, import a KL4000, to my simulation world. It will generate there where actually I dropped it. And now I can go to the robots and go here to a high payload, and for instance, the Quantec. And again, I'm dragging and dropping it into my simulation. And now, even in again in the PNP mode, there will be this yellow arrow on the bottom of my robot. You can already see it. Again, with the blue circle, I can change the direction but now i can actually again drag and drop my robot onto or near this linear unit and with the green arrow it shows me where it would go and if i get even closer it just jumps on the linear unit if i go and interact it will move together now i can even change the position of the robot and it will just follow it So this PNP mode is very useful. Just be aware that if you want to change something, for example, if I go back to the PNP mode and I snap it here, and I want to sh change something in the settings, for example, in the modeling of my double gripper, I want to change something on the link, I can interact with it, but it has to be attached so I can change something on the link. So again, I have to detach the double gripper, make my changes and then reattach it to the robot. I hope this was helpful. I hope that uh, you use a lot of this PNP function. Uh, don't get confused with the move and the PNP. These are very two different, very specific things. And have fun with PNP. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more interesting videos about KUKA simulation world, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Industrial Intelligence